here's a closer look at my Little Hearts baby socks. The Little Heart shown here has been worked in a technique called Intarsia, which is a heart that's sewn, we can get in to have a look at it, without floats running across the back. These threads here are the little ends that I've sewn in afterwards. If you'd like to learn how to work intarsia, please do look at my intarsia video. Now, if you don't want to knit intarsia, you could actually Swiss darn this little image onto your socks after knitting, and there'll be a video which shows you how to Swiss darn as well. So do take a look at those. So this knitting pattern has got instructions to either knit these flat and seamed or in the round. If you do want to knit these in the round, you won't be able to work intarsia because intarsia just doesn't work with knitting in the round simply because as you work across with one colour, you leave this, you would leave this space colour behind, you would join, uh, uh, work this, this red across and finish and join. And then when you come round and get to this point again, your red would be over the other side. So you can't work this in the round, you would twist on them. Uh, do a Swiss darn heart onto your sock afterwards. Now these have been worked um, flat and seamed. The seam here runs down the back and down the centre of the foot. Now as these are baby socks, for little babies that aren't walking this is fine, the seam under the foot is okay. Now some customers have asked how to sew the, the direction of the seam of the toe and some have sewn them this way. So you need to make sure that the sock is flat and you sew across here. And that's how you sew the toe. It's got a sweet little eyelet detail. Um, I actually think this is quite pretty, but this also is designed to make the sock super easy. You don't have to wrap the yarn as you work your heel turn. Um, but if you're an accomplished sock knitter and you'd like to wrap and not have these little eyelets, then go ahead and do that. So this is worked top down. You start with the rib. So when you're working your heart as an intarsia in it, you will actually work it upside down. The chart is very easy to follow. You have a separate chart for each size. And um, I have detailed row by row instructions for you. So it's a super easy pattern to follow. The little pattern here across the toe is worked in float stitch as a fair isle. These uh, socks here have been knitted in Debbie Bliss Baby Cash Merino. Um, so you can, on three and three and a quarter millimeter needles and the, um, the rib is on a smaller two and three quarters, I think it is. Um, so, you can work these socks in any sport yarn. You could also work them in four ply on a three and a quarter millimeter needle. They will just um, work out slightly smaller than the than working in the sport yarn. So I hope that little close up of the my little hearts baby socks is helpful. <laughs>